Okay, in the last video I said I was going to talk about corner reflectors, but I lied. I'm not. I'm going to do another ray tracing. Uh, I'm going to follow the path of a laser through a, uh, a piece of semicircular plastic. So we have a piece of semicircular plastic. And we're going to say that uh, let's just shoot the laser in like this. Now, how do we construct a normal for a circle? Well, the stupid way to construct a normal to a circle is to try to kind of like eyeball it like this. The smart way to do a normal to a circle is to understand that all radii are normal to the edge of a circle. So anything passing, any ray, any line passing through the center of my circle is a normal. So I've got a normal like that. And so I have thirty nine degrees. Thirty nine degrees. And I have in here n equals one point six, and here n equals one. Now, like my other example, we're going to have some of the laser is going to bounce off of that surface. And so some of the laser is going to bounce off at 39 degrees, like that. And then some of the some of the laser is going to be reflected or it's going to be refracted in and so we're going to say n1 sine theta 1 is equal to n2 sine theta 2 and so we're going to say 1 sine 39 degrees is equal to 1.6 sine theta 2 and so then doing that on my calculator I get theta 2 is going to be the sine inverse of sine 39 degrees divided by 1.6 and I'm going to get 23.2 degrees. So I'm going to measure 23.2 degrees off this way and my ray of and my refracted ray of light is going to come down like that and now I need a new normal and so I'm going to get a new normal over here and I'm going to need a new angle over here. So that angle coming in it's going to be, wow, strange that, actually not strange that if you think about it. If you sort of figure it out a little bit you'll understand why I'm measuring this. Oh, did I do 23? I think I came up with 23.2 and I I think I measured 22. Yes, I did. Okay, so I made a measurement of 22 degrees when I should have made it 23 degrees. So I'm off by a degree. But if you sort of think about it, and I'm going to leave you guys as a puzzler, if this is 22 degrees, then this is going to be 22 degrees. I'm just going to actually just lie because you can't even see on the, on the video what my protractor says anyways. So I'm just going to call that, I'm just going to lie to you and tell you that I measured that at 23 degrees. 
Now, I'm going to, so well, gosh, I've already got it done. Because if I go through this again, this is the result. If I make the result the input of my calculation, I'm just going to go backwards. I'm going to end up with 39 degrees. So this one's just going to come out at 39 degrees. And that's going to be somewhere over like there. Let me measure it again. I thought I was smart and made just the tiniest little mark, but I couldn't see the mark when I pulled it away. That's the mark right there. And so then that's going to be 39 degrees. Let's uh, write it right side up. Okay, and again, there's going to be a little bit of reflection right here. Some of this light is going to come in at 23 degrees. And then this is going to, then some of that is going to reflect and some of it's going to refract. But I'm not going to keep following this around forever and ever and ever. So, <coughs> what we have when we shine the laser on the semicircular piece of plastic is if I shine the laser in like that, some of the laser at the first surface bounces up like that, some of it is reflected in like this then at that surface we're going to have some reflection that goes back that way and some refraction that goes back that way. At this surface we're going to have some reflection that goes back that way, some refraction that goes down this way. But I'm just going to do bang, 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 and there's one, one path, there's another path, and then there's a third path. So I've got three paths for the light. One, two, Three. Okay, so next we're going to start talking about lenses.